Hey there! Today I want to show you a cool way to play the G major scale. So this way of playing the G scale has a really rich sound and it resonates really nicely because you're playing open strings as well as close intervals on adjacent strings to allow more than one note to ring out at the same time. And you're never playing consecutive notes on the same string, like this. Rather, you're playing consecutive notes on different strings, always on a different string. So it creates a really nice open ringing sound. So as I'm going through this, I like to think about two things. One is the shapes that my left hand has to make in order to play the scale. These are close intervals like minor seconds and major seconds. For instance, a minor second would be like reaching from B at the seventh fret on the sixth string to C, which is a half step away. That makes it a minor second when played simultaneously. So I need to reach and play this interval here when I move up to the next group of notes, I go to my major second shapes and so on. I'll show you these in a minute, but thinking in terms of these left hand intervals really helps. Also, the second point is I like to break up the scale into six segments or groups of notes. And I think of them as pieces uh, broken up into patterns that I do with my right hand and my left hand. So I'm going to go ahead and break down the whole scale in these groups so that you can get a grasp of it. And then at the end of this lesson, I have eight exercises that are meant to help you go from just learning the scale for the first time to being able to play the full pattern up and down, down and up um, in an eight exercise progression. And this wouldn't be something that if this is new for you that you could do in, a, in just a day, maybe you can, but um, it's a series of exercises that you could implement over the course of, say, a week or two to learn this scale and incorporate it in some creative ways in your own music. There's a free PDF that I made to go along with this that has the tablature and standard music notation for this exercise. You can find that at practicemakesbettermusic.com and on the homepage you'll find this lesson or you can follow the link in the description of this video to find the relevant lesson and download the PDF. Okay, so to break down this concept of the groupings of this scale, I'm going to start with the first grouping, which is a two note grouping that starts on G at the sixth string, third fret. So we have G here, and the second note is the open A string, the open fifth string. So I think of those two notes as my first grouping because they're grouped together in a right hand pattern. So I'm playing thumb and then index finger to play the first grouping. The second grouping is three notes, and it's going to be made up of B on the sixth string, seventh fret, C on the fifth string, third fret, and the open fourth string, D. So here my next grouping is going to be played with thumb, index, and then middle, like this. So the first two groupings together, I have G, A, and then second grouping is B, C, D. And then the next grouping is going to be another three note grouping starting on E at the seventh fret, fifth string. And then my, with my fourth finger and my first finger is going to stretch to F sharp at the fourth fret on the fourth string. And then I'm going to do the same pattern, thumb, index, middle. And that completes the first octave of the scale. So again, I have my first grouping G, A. Then I shift my left hand position to this minor second interval, and I play with my right hand, thumb index metal to play B, C, D. Now I shift to my third grouping, which is E and F sharp in a what we call what would be a major second interval um, between these two strings. And then I do the same pattern with my right hand. I play thumb index metal to play E, F sharp, G. Now the next grouping, grouping number four, is going to be only two notes, and it's the most unusual grouping of this pattern. And here you're going to play A at the fourth string, seventh fret, and then you're going to skip the third string here, 
and, and with your middle finger pluck the open second string to get that B. So that's our fourth grouping. So if I add that from the beginning, I have G, A, B, C, D, E, F sharp, G, and here A, open second string for B. My fifth grouping is going to be a major second pattern right here from C at the third string fifth fret to D at the third fret of the second string and then the open first string same pattern with my right hand as the other three note groupings thumb index middle and then to finish it out I just have a minor second from F sharp at the seventh fret second string to G at the third fret of the first string okay so to go in reverse from there we'd have group six which is just the G and F sharp a two note grouping and then we have the backwards pattern in our right hand. So for that first one, I'm gonna pluck middle index. And then my, my fifth grouping is E, D, C, which I'm gonna use middle index thumb. And then here I have my fourth grouping, which is just the open B string and then A on the fourth string. And then I go down to a three note grouping, G, open G, F sharp, E, another three note grouping, D, uh, C, B, and then the final two note grouping, A, G. And that's my full scale. Okay, so that is the full scale. What I did was I broke it up into eight parts for you to practice it progressively and hopefully master it quicker and have some fun with it. Um, the free PDF of the sheet music is available at my website, which is practicemakesbettermusic.com, and you can find the lesson either on the homepage of the website or by following the link in the description um, below this video.
Okay, until next time, practice hard.